guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Apart. We have been outside so much and doing all of our outside home upgrades. I really neglected the inside, so I definitely need to do like a speed clean of this entire house. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe, but now let's get to cleaning. Okay, and the very first place we're gonna start is my beauty room. I feel like this one gets neglected the most just because I'm in here so much, either working or getting ready. And then nobody comes to this side of the house. Like if guests come over, they're not gonna come into my office or beauty room. So it's kind of the area if I'm not in the mood to clean, I just kind of let it go. But at the same time, I'm in here so much, I can't function when it's dirty. And lately I have just been dreading coming into this room. I know my closet's dirty, I know my vanity's a mess, Mess, but I just keep putting it off because we've been outside so much so it really did feel good just to kind of pick up wipe a few things down it probably took me under 10 minutes so sometimes it's just getting that motivation to get started and then it makes our days feel so much better The top of this vanity gets so dirty just with all my makeup and when I put on like powder, it's loose and it comes on there. I've had a lot of like eyelash glue get on there so I've had like black spots. So I like to clean it off. I know a lot of you guys have given me tips um, about like laying a towel down while I get ready. I just haven't been able to like implement them yet. And so until you make it a routine, it's so hard to remember to do, but I need to come up with some system over there. And now I'm gonna head on over to my desk. This doesn't really get dirty, but it gets really dusty. There's something about technology and I'm sitting here so much. I like to just keep it nice and clean and I just haven't wiped it off in a while. So I thought I'd wipe it down as well. You got a free pass, oh Try to hide it, but you had me from the get-go Let me be frank, I'm not that complicated If you need me, I see you so playing games I want to go ahead and talk about my outfit because I always get questions. My yoga pants that I love are Zella leggings. I used to only wear Lululemon, which are so much more expensive. And I actually prefer these over them. And I know Nordstrom's does a big sell once a year. So I just try to buy up then um, and then make them last until the next sell. So I will definitely buy, be buying more. I bought my first couple pairs last time they had the sell and I cannot wait for them to go back on sale. But still, they are like under 30 bucks, way more affordable than Lululemon. So you can definitely check them out. Um, my shirt is from Apple Boulevard. Since I can't go to Ross, I can't shop a lot of places. I feel like I've been shopping online. So I've been doing a lot of Jane.com and then Apple Boulevard. Um, I'll try to remember to put both of those links down below in my description box. But Apple Boulevard, I feel like is very affordable. Um, they have a lot of like cute basics for like $12.99. They have dresses for around $20. I feel like they don't go much above like the $32 mark, which I like. Um, and those are just for like really cute pieces. So if you're needing to stock up on some clothes so when we finally can go out in the world you have it or you just want to look cute at home definitely check those links out down below why can't you forget the reason you left you tend to hide your feelings yeah you keep thinking it's right to keep a distance it's like Okay, and here is how the room turned out, and I'm telling you, it was like 10, 15 minutes max, and it just felt so much better. I even walked back in here before I went to bed, and I'm like, I have to keep this room this clean. It's just so calming to me. Um, there's just nothing like walking into a clean room versus walking into a room you dread because it's dirty. But now I'm gonna go ahead and put my vacuum up, and then I had started this laundry yesterday, and then I put it in the dryer last night, and I keep forgetting to get it out. 
Um, this is all my load of clothes. So laundry has been insane here. I keep talking about that. Ever since we've been quarantined, we're just like going through clothes like crazy. Um, I never used to do separate loads like my clothes and then a load for Chase's clothes and a load for Savannah's, but we've had so much lately. I've actually been splitting it up and it's kind of nice because when it's my load, I'll grab it and go fold it. If it's Chase's, I just put it on our bed and he folds it and then Savannah does hers as well. So it's kind of been a little blessing and they just bring me their load when it's ready when their baskets full so I'm not gonna lie it's been kind of a nice system and just keeping it all separate and we all take care of our own items like I will start it in the washer and dryer just because I don't want to mess up any of their nice clothes and they don't know how to do it all um, but as long as they're bringing it to me and then putting it away it has really saved me so much time So anytime you guys see this laundry basket, you go crazy for it. I picked mine up from Ross. I've also heard um, a lot of people mention that Big Lots has it, which I know none of us can shop right now. So I do have one that looks almost just like it in my Amazon store. So if you're interested, um, I have my link down below in the description box and you can definitely check it out. Um, definitely have a cute laundry basket. It just makes laundry a little bit more fun. I do the same thing with my ironing board cover. Um, if you have pieces that are just kind of fun and deployed out it makes cleaning not so bad so that's my little tip for you guys Okay, as soon as I'm finished folding my laundry, I put it right back in the basket and I put it away immediately. I just don't like laundry sitting out. I don't wanna sort through it. I don't want George to get on it. I've just always been one of those, as soon as it's folded, it gets put away and then you don't have to stress about it anymore. The longer you let things just set out or set in the laundry room, it just kinda adds up and then there's something else you need to do. As you see something, just clean as needed. I'm constantly getting asked to do cleaning routines, but my best advice to you guys, especially especially as you're busy, is just clean as needed. When you see something that needs to be picked up, do it immediately. Um, try to do the one touch rule. Like when I come in, I don't just set my purse down in the kitchen and then have to clean it up later. It goes straight into my room and my closet. Um, when you come in and put your shoes off, like don't just throw them by the door, go put them away immediately. When you're taking dishes to the kitchen, don't like go in and set it on the island and then have to move it later touch your items one at a time and put them where they belong. And I'm telling you, it'll cut down so much time cleaning. Try it for a week. Um, you guys are constantly wanting me to do a video where I don't clean for 24 hours. It's so embedded in me just to do the one touch rule that I don't even think I could. Like it's just second nature to me. When I see something, I put it away. When I come in, it goes straight to its home. So I don't know that I could ever do that. It's easy. Okay, now I'm gonna head into my kitchen. These drawers drive me crazy. I have two of them. I just have not found a good system that's working for me yet. You guys have seen me organize them about three times now. Um, I remember doing this with my silverware drawer and I just kept reorganizing them and using different um, just bins and containers until I figure out what works and I finally did and I haven't touched that drawer in months because the system's working. Um, Systems don't work, we'll just keep getting messy. So you can have the best organizers, but if it's not working the best function for you guys, it's not gonna hold up. So I just suggest keep tinkering with it, keep messing with it, and then one day you're gonna find the solution to the problem. And that's kind of just what I'm doing with these drawers. I just keep rearranging them, mix and matching. Um, maybe I need to try, I have drawer um, dividers in them. I may need to try something else now because those really aren't, those work in so many of my drawers. But for these two, I just have not found a good system so I'm gonna organize them and I'll show you what it looks like at the end I don't think it's gonna solve the problem but it's at least better than what it was but heaven knows I'm getting so much better every day And here
here's how they turned out. Like I said, they look better. I don't think it's gonna hold up. I need to get on Pinterest and look at some utensil drawers and kind of see what other people are doing. Um, you guys have mentioned like putting some of the items under the sink in a container. I've done that before, but then I'm always reaching for them. I like to have easy access. So I'm sure you'll see future videos of me messing with that again, because I don't think I've completed it. Um, I did get my Amazon order in. We like to have smoothies here at least once a day and we love smoothie straws, but I felt like we were going through them so much and it was wasteful. So I ordered these silicone straws. We're really loving them. Savannah even uses them for her water cups, I think is sweet. But I'm gonna go ahead and just wash them with some antibacterial Dawn and hot water um, since they just came in from the mail. Um, I'll put these down below in my Amazon store as well. If you guys are looking for any straws like this, I am super happy with them. So you think you were right? Bring it on, prove me wrong Go put up a fight mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will knock you down You know there's a motion between us Don't, don't cry about it Don't, don't cry about it You want me to take you in my trust Okay, now that I'm finished washing those, I'm just gonna let them air dry over out there on that mat. That's from Walmart, but they're super affordable. I have the exact same one linked to my Amazon store if you wanna check it out, but it just helps them to dry. Now I'm gonna just do a little speed clean of my kitchen. There's not much out, but realistically, I clean this kitchen several times a day. Um, things just kind of tend to end up on my island, so I'm constantly putting those items away. And I spray down my countertops at least three times a day. I do it after breakfast, I do it after lunch, and then I do it after dinner. And I'm not gonna lie, there's probably a time or two in between that I do it as well. I just love having nice clean cabinets. I love the smell of the products when I'm done and just a nice, clean, crisp kitchen. So I'm constantly wiping those things down. You know While I'm wiping down my kitchen, I wanted to let you know that um, this is not sponsored, but Ecloth is doing their Earth Day sale and it actually ends today, but a lot of their items are 25% off. And then if you use Ashley Cleans, you get an additional 15, so that makes it 40% off. So a lot of my cleaning cloths that I use, the general purpose, the eight piece set that I bought, the mop that I use, there's a lot of items on sale that you're getting 40% off. The mop originally is $40 and right now with all the discounts, you can get it for 25. So if you've ever been interested in e-cloth, I'm gonna leave that link down below. Um, definitely check it out and don't forget to use Ashley Cleans for the additional 15% off. Now I'm gonna start on my floors. I have really neglected them. I know in this video you can't see too much, but my floors have just been terrible lately. I haven't even cleaned them in the last couple days. I haven't even vacuumed them, so I promise you they're bad if you can't see it or not. The boys were also extra frisky, and I don't know if it's because I hadn't vacuumed in a while or they were just super happy, but you can see them going crazy. I even turned around because George scared me. He fell and like knocked over my fan and I didn't know what happened, but you can see the look on my face. But you can watch the boys. They'll definitely entertain you for a while during this scene. I Now I'm gonna work on vacuuming in my dining room. Realistically, I needed to pull out these chairs and give the rug a good vacuum, but this wasn't a deep clean video and I just wasn't in the mood, but I'm sure you'll be seeing that in the next one because it definitely needs to happen. Um, this is also where the boys run in and out and we walk in and out and just from eating there, there's food. So like I said, I probably should have moved those chairs, but I didn't. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, why I finished up just vacuuming the floors, um, I wanted to go over because I have been getting a lot of questions about my vacuum and I think you're confused because I have two of them. The one I'm using right now is the LG Cordless. There's only one of them. So you guys will always say, will you tell me which one you have? There's only one of them. They do come in a few different colors. I have the gray. It works really well. It's my favorite. It's the one I lean towards the most, but it's also more money. So there's also the Dyson. I have the Dyson Animal. It has great attachments just like this one. It is still amazing for the price. It's still a little pricey, so it's one of those it has to be in the budget. I love both of them, but I constantly get asked which one's your favorite. If I had to choose, it's the LG, but I still think the Dyson is an incredible vacuum. They're both great. You can't go wrong but the LG just has a few more features, like you don't have to hold it down to vacuum. Um, there's just a few things. It's got a longer battery on it. It's got a backup battery, so I just love those things. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mop my floors real quickly because they were terrible. I normally save this for the end, but I just wanted to get them clean today. Um, this is the mop that I'm talking about. I've been using this mop since before I was on YouTube. I used this in my last home. I love it. It's originally $40. And right now with the Earth Day sale and then my 15% off if you use Ashley Cleans, it is $25. So if you've ever been on the fence about this, if you've ever wanted to try it out, if you wanna get a gift for somebody, this is definitely the time to do it. And that link is down below in my description box. My floors were so dirty, so it felt so good to get them mopped. Um, if you guys don't know anything about e-cloth, you just only need water to clean. So with their rags, you only need water. With their mop, you only need water. I just wet that mop head, and then I can mop my entire house worth of wood floors. I don't have a huge home, so if you have a lot larger space, you may have to re-wet it. They also have a mop with like a spray bottle attached. I've never used that one. So all I know is I've used this one and I love it. It cleans. My floors are never sticky. They're so shiny when I decide to clean them. <laughs> um, and I definitely need to do it more often. I've just got off my A game. But here is a look at how my living room and kitchen turned out. Okay, now I'm gonna head into my master bedroom. This is actually like later in the evening, so our bed is already made. But I like to vacuum our floors um, before we go to bed and typically in the morning when we wake up. Um, we have Tiger who doesn't shed and then we have George, which is a golden doodle and he's not supposed to shed. Time will tell, but right now he's losing his puppy coat. Um, and my husband and Savannah just have a hard time breathing sometimes. So I like to vacuum these floors since this is where Chase sleeps and then this is where George sleeps. So like I said, realistically, I do vacuum these twice a day. Plus there's just something about going into a room to fall asleep in where the room's clean, there's no clutter and there's vacuum lines. If you haven't done that in a while, definitely do it. I promise you, you will sleep so much better. If you wanna add like a cherry on top, even have clean sheets and you will sleep so well. Okay, now we're gonna head outside to my back patio. This place has been so dirty lately, just with all the yard work we've been doing and the sod and the watering and the dirt. Um, we come up here and kick off our shoes so my floors aren't that dirty, but this patio is just disgusting and now it's like dried up mud. So it just really needed a good sweeping. It actually needs to be power washed. Um, I keep eyeing them. <laughs> I think we found one for around 200 and I just don't wanna spend the money yet, but I know we're gonna have to break down at some point because I feel like this is almost stained concrete and it's stained with mud. So 
A lot of you guys are like, oh, paint it, it's so beautiful. I'm sure it would be beautiful and that would work great for my front porch, but not back here with George and just everything that we do. It just needs to be where I can power wash it occasionally. So I need to get one of those soon and I also need to get a shampooer. So if we were to get one, let me know which video you'd want to see first. Should I get um, the power washer and do like concrete or should I get a shampooer and do our carpets? Let me know down below um, in the comments section. Okay, now I'm just gonna fluff up the pillows and the sectional. So there's only a few times of the year that I can actually use this out here, spring and then fall. But as summer comes, we get lots of wasps. It just gets super hot. But lately I've been out here every evening watching Chase Water the Sod and I can just like answer comments and relax. So I just like to fluff it up so it's nice and pretty when I'm finished sitting out there. And then here is the final look. Like I said, it's not perfect and our concrete is still stained with mud, but at least all that loose dirt's off so we're not like tracking it inside every time we come in and out or every time George and Tiger come in and out. Also wanted to share with you guys the view from my back patio door. The sky was gorgeous this day. We just have the best skies in Oklahoma. We don't have a lot, we don't have pretty views, but we have an amazing sky. And I just wanted to show you how blue the sky was and how fluffy the clouds were. And then we also have a storm coming in. So the next clip you're gonna see like the clouds turning gray and getting dark. And I just thought it was gorgeous. So I wanted to share it with you guys. We make out for the thrill of it Mess around for the thrill of it Don't stop now, never let this end Now since my back patio is clean, I want to go ahead and keep this door clean so I can see straight out. Um, I love just looking out into our backyard and seeing the land and seeing the sky and not muddy noses or fingerprints on my door. Plus the storm was about to come and I love watching storms. It's very calming to me and I just wanted to be able to look through the glass and not just see a bunch of dirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down real quickly. Um, I'm using my Jaws Cleaner if you're interested. Um, I always have a coupon code with them down below in my description box. And then these polishing rags from eCloth are amazing. You cannot live without them once you have them. They're on sale as well. So definitely check out both of those links down below. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My house is nowhere like deep clean and in tip top shape, but it already feels so much better. Um, it's about five o'clock, so we're gonna go ahead and stop here and eat dinner. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.